Yeah, I never used to button up my shirts all the way to the top like that. Never in my life. But now I'm getting older. I'm like, you know, why not? You know what I mean? It's got an extra button up there. Why well, just using that for the hanger? You know say something wrong with button up your shirt a little bit. I mean, look proper. You know what I mean? The people around. Wait. You know what I'm saying? So look at this guy all the way up here. Whoa. This is a, a a banjo ute. See, there's a banjo. All right, this is a banjo, which is like a banjo mandolin. And right, we did this one. This was the Reliance number XX, number 20. I don't know, a year ago, two years ago. I have it strung like a like a ukulele though. This one's just a straight up ukulele. I'll tell you how I got it, because that's I like to give you the provenance. That's the flea market, also known as a swap meet, just in case you're confused. How come he's talking about swapping his meat with somebody and then he's talking about being at a flea market? I'm confused. I ain't swapping my meat. I'm talking about a place called a swap meet. That's usually more of a West Coast term. I'm international, so they're interchangeable. My audience, I'm aiming for the world. Understand? Now, I got the swap meet. I'll give you a brief reenactment, because I know you'd like that. I hadn't seen shit all fucking day, man. I was going around looking at the sky and the sun. You know, and I couldn't find any guitars. I found a PV, you know what I mean, instrument, and I think he wanted $69 for it. I was like, hmm, 70 bucks for a fucking PV. And I found another guy. He had some old-ass looking weird guitar. You know what I mean? I had like a built-in speaker, but he wanted like $70 for it. And I got him down to 60 I was like, you know what? I'm going to get something else. You know what I mean? I kept like finding like one or two guitars. Then there was a guy who had his old Ibanez bass, and he was missing. You know I mean? He went to take a shit. You know what I mean? I would walk around. You know what I mean? I would walk around waiting, you know what I mean? And didn't come back. You know what I mean? Look at this fucking taking one back my car. And like, you and your shit. You know, I was like, yeah, I'm his cousin. You know, he told me that, you know what I mean, he couldn't sell it just to pick it up. All right, it's right there. I'm going to take the other four guitars, too. <laughs> you know what I mean, honey? Peace be with you. you know? I'm an honest man. I'm an honest man. So I'm leaving, man. I'm like dejected. I drove all the way out to the swap meet. And I'm like, shit, man. This is bullshit. Fuck this place. I never. And then all of a sudden, I've seen a Chinese guy. That I see, like, you know what I mean? I see him at random swap me. I don't even know if he's real. Maybe he's just in my imagination. Oh, I didn't find anything to that white boy. And he's like polishing a little piece of brass. Here's a piece of brass right here. Oh, I think I'll have just something for you in my pile. And I looked through his pile. And I seen this thing sticking out. His headstock is sticking out of this box. I was like, is that a headstock of some old ass 1920s nature with a real label on it still? Sure enough, it was a rare ass instrument too. Sterling is the brand. I really know much about it. I actually did find out who Sterling was, but I forgot already. It's on my phone. I'll tell you about it in the description below. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll tell you in the next in the next scene. I just want to excitedly tell you about the acquisition of it. I don't really think I'm going to replace this broken old skin, but I want to show you a little bit closer. I just wanted to introduce you to it. And then we're going to flip around the camera, and I'm going to get a better shot of it. I'm a celebratory. You know what I'm saying? You're going to look at it with me. So are you ready for that moment? I hope you are. You know what I'm saying? I buttoned up my shirt just for this occasion. All right? Peace be with you. I'll see you in just one shake. One shake or whatever you make. Alright, so there it is. Week two of the weird little banjo instruments. Fresh off of last week with our mandolin banjo, also known as a banjolin, right? Yeah, I all call these a banjel, but I think the pronunciation is supposed to be banjolele. Combination of banjo and ukulele. You know what I'm saying? Ex extremely popular in the early 20th century. Both the ukulele and the banjo. This is like a weird fucking 
offspring. Just like the man mandolin was also very popular. You know what I'm saying? Surprised there wasn't like a banjo mandolin ukulele. You know what I mean? Trifecta. <laughs> this head looks like it's gonna die. Some like moth holes. But I'm not gonna change it. In fact, the whole thing's been repaired a million years ago. Looks like there's a nasty. It's got that like elephant glue from I don't know a hundred years ago. But it looks like it's sturdy. So let's get it playing. You know what I mean? I got a little, you know, a couple things I want to do, a couple of surprises. You know what I'm saying? Check a couple things out. I want to do things in a weird way. We're of course gonna put ukulele strings on there, like nylon strings on it. So we don't want to bust through this. We got a couple things to talk about. You know what I mean? Maybe not a long episode like Leo from last week, but you know, week two. You know, we don't really want to clean this guy up too much. We just want to get him playing. It's because you know what I mean. I kind of like the like you know what I mean funkiness. Of this it's really lightweight. A lot of these, I had that Reliance one, the twenty. You know what I mean the XX. That was real, real heavy, like a real cast iron, British made sort of little guy. You know what I'm saying? And that was a uh, banjo, banjo mandolin, man. You know? Banjolin. <laughs> so here we go, man. I'll see you in the laboratory. A couple little things to talk about to do. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll suck you straight. And we'll play a little bit. And you'll, you know what I mean? Live to see another day, hopefully. You know what I mean? If you don't make it through my video, not my fault, right? Not my fault. See you in the laboratory. Welcome back to the laboratory. You can tell he's in some pain. You don't want to welcome you back in here. So it's got a nice little patina going. I want to put a little bit of, like, you know what I mean? Pledge on here and just call it a day, really. I don't really want to do too much. It's very lightweight. It's got that, you know what I mean, injury. It seems to be very stable. I don't want to fuck with it. Looks like here, you know what I mean, the, it's like everything is good on the nut. We don't have anything to do to repair. I don't want to mess with this little, you know what I mean, decal. It's beautiful. You know I mean? Water slide. You know what I'm saying? It's water slide that has no edges. It's like an edge-free water slide. It's beautiful. Very, very delicate. Delgado. We want to take extra, extra care when we I mean, get this guy going. So let's do that first, man. A little bit of furniture polish. Then we got a couple of things to talk about. All right. See you after it's been polished up. Mm -hmm. Look at it now. We got the grime off it without destroying the patina. You know what I'm saying? That's like a. Uh, Considerable feet, right? So it's good, man. You know what I mean? That's as far as we're going to go on the cosmetic tip. Let's talk about functionality, man. We have no tuners on this. Now, there's a good possibility that this instrument actually came with a set of tuners that look very similar to this, man. These tuners came out in the mid-20s, and they're still on the market today, and they have not changed at all, other than this probably being... A slotted screw on all of them, of course. Other than that, they are pretty much exactly the same. They're like a tension tuner. And I think believe that they actually had eyelets. <laughs> we'll talk about last week. Right? As opposed to this little piece on top. But either way, it's, it's essentially the same exact thing. Now, I was thinking to myself, maybe it didn't have that. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure. But... The early, 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 early ukuleles all had pegs, man. I wonder a banjo with pegs. So I went on the old Albert Express, man. I found myself some 1 16th ebony pegs, supposedly solid ebony. And they're just about, you know what I mean, right. They need to be shaved down a little bit. I don't want to mess with these holes at all. You know what I mean? If I sand these down a little bit, I'll be able to get them up. But first, they need to be drilled out, right? Hey, man. 
We gotta do what we gotta do. But I'm gonna take them over the drill press very carefully. You know what I mean? Very, very carefully, and we're gonna drill them out. Put a little holes in them. You know what I'm saying? This might not work. This might be a failure. <laughs> this might be a, a fracaso. A fracaso. Right? Let's go let's go drill these out. Hey, you know what I mean? It was an experiment. You know what I mean? We might end up using these after all. I got a whole set of eyelets. <laughs> you watched last week's episode. Why not funny? <laughs> See you at the press, man. Don't get depressed. All right, so we got the old Ryobi ready to go, man. You know what I'm saying? We got the little rigmadig all rigged up. You know what I'm saying? It's ready to go. Where do we need to be? Oh! A little tiny drill bit, right? Let's do this out. Let's do it out times four. See you in a minute. There we go, man. Now, the good news is we did it without any problems. The bad news is we don't really have any. This is just some kind of Chinese wood that's been painted. False. Fake. Fictitious bullshit. Tricked American. Tried to make him think he have bargain. Oh, did I show you a bargain? The best you ever had. Now look. This might have like some kind of repercussions on us sanding this down. We might have to take a little bit of the finish off, but I don't give ten halves of a fuck, right? So let's try to like, you know what I mean? Weasel these through these little holes by sanding them lightly. They're pretty close as they are. I just run, you know what I mean? I could easily just like put a little reamer in there and be done with it. I don't know why I'm trying to be such a fucking hero. I didn't pay anything at all for this fucking thing. You know what I'm saying, man? It was like a, like a gimme from the gods of the string of instruments. Let's see when we've poked on through to the other side. Uh, there we go. Usually part two is shorter than part one, right? So we got it all through. We had to take off quite a bit of that finish. You know what I mean? What we could do is we could take a black furniture marker and we could cut you know, any color of the tops of these, pull them out color tops of these and like you color pretty much up to there so nobody would even see it i don't really care it's going to be real tight you know what i mean you see here like in the tuning process especially for the uh you know what i'm saying strings up here but i think we'll be able to do it man so we got a couple other little tiny things to talk about unless this thing breaks and we need to replace it and then we'll be talking a lot more right it's not a short one you know what i mean move away you know what i'm saying so then we're going to have to do some work, right? Nobody wants to do any work. So let's talk about the bridge, man. You can buy a bunch of different bridges for these type of, you know what I mean, instruments. But you're going to need to get a banjo, man. You know what I'm saying? A banjo lily. That's, that's the real deal. Now, you can get a four-string banjo one that's the same height. That's this one right here. This has got the four-string notches on it. You know what I'm saying? But this is the four-string banjo lily. It's going to cost you a couple dollars more. But as you see, it's a little bit smaller. You know what I'm saying? A little tiny bit smaller. Which is better for the string spacing, really. I mean, that's where it should be. We could probably get away with using the other one. You know what I'm saying? But why bother? Why bother? So let's figure out exactly where the 12th fret is, where we should be putting that guy. You know what I mean? Do a little measurements in our mind. And then we're going to put some strings on it. We just got these. Oh, ukulele, these are the white nylons. I like those. You know, you know, Chinese, I bought a whole bunch of these. I think they were like like 70 cents a piece back in the day when I bought them. Anyway, we're going to put them on there. And I'm going to see you perched on top of an old Kramer case. In a segment I like to call the Glam Shots. And that's short for Glamour Shots. So one. <laughs> This thing feels like like a primeval like folk instrument, man. Feels like some National Geographic shit, man. You know what I'm saying? The Cora and his cousin, the Mora. You know what I'm saying? The Flora. Out the door. 
going to the store. Got some money at the drawer. Now I'm kind of poor. <laughs> I think we're going to make it, man. I think we're going to make it. I think this old, tough old skin, man. God bless the wildebeest. It's called a yacht. <laughs> anyway, man. Staring at me. Right? It's great. I can't say anything other than that, man. It, it turned out to be a wonderful little instrument. I've been fucking around with it for like an hour and a half now. You know, I mean, I really, you know, I mean, I play all kinds of songs on it. You know I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to play. I, I came up with three or four different ones. I want to play something like just out, out of left field for you, man. I want you to enjoy yourselves. You know what I mean? The patina's still grooving, still kicking. The Sterling, right? Banjo Lely. Oh, the sons of Shillelagh this year. We're going to throw Lucky Charm marshmallows at you. Right? And then after you want to hear it, we're going to have to steer it. And then we're going to clear it. Look after yourself. And peace be with you. Let's hear it. Please. Open your ears. Um, the Sterling Banjolele. Or Banjol, if you're an idiot like myself. <laughs> I've been calling it a banjo for 30 years. Man. Oh, man. I'm going to get one of those banjos and learn all the Billy Joel songs. Compared that thing from last week, though, this thing's like a more modern marvel. But I will say one thing that it's like never in tune. It's like hard to tune it, man. I'm going to break it. These tuners are not a good idea at all. <laughs> but, you know, they're cool. And they look really cool. That's about it. They look, they look cool. Takes forever to stretch these strings, man. Anyway, I've been messing with it all day long. I hope it doesn't break. It's like straight out of Smithsonian Institution, man. Nineteen like ninety two or three. I remember Paul McCartney came out with this album called Off the Ground. And all the B-sides were incredible. I remember, like, I really liked the album off the ground. My friend Russell was like a true musician. He's like, that album is garbage. <laughs> I mean, all he liked was a single. I'm going to try to play the single. I will always be hoping. He can still sing back on that album, man. Wash your hands, brother, man. Wash those beautiful, talented hands. But don't get too conceited, Paulie. There's all kinds of other hands out there, too. They're good, too. That concludes. That's part two of the wee little banjo things. You guys are like, oh, thank God, man. Well, I'll see you one time in the future. Hopefully, it'll be next week. Maybe it won't. It'll be soon. Ah!